Discovery, go at throttle up. Discovery, Roger, go for deploy. Engineer, that's everybody in the shuttle program. The crew is go for launch. Good morning and thank you for joining us. We're live here in Mission Control Houston, the International Space Station Flight Control Room at Johnson Space Center in Texas. We're going to be sending some state commands. This view coming to you live from the International Space Station of Dragon Endurance. Endurance will be carrying the Crew 7 astronauts and cosmonauts home today with an undocking scheduled for 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 10.20 a.m. Central Time. Endurance arrived at the International Space Station 197 days ago. In total, it spent 199 days in space by the time it splashes down, which is scheduled for tomorrow morning, March 12th. Currently, teams here in Mission Control Houston are working with teams at SpaceX in Hawthorne, California, in preparation for the undocking of the spacecraft, again, coming at 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. Meanwhile, crew aboard the International Space Station are preparing for the very same thing. We have four crew members who will be returning back to Earth. Uh, that journey starting today and again splashdown scheduled for tomorrow. Returning to Earth will be Jasmine McBelly, NASA astronaut, ESA or European Space Agency astronaut Andreas Mogensen, JAXA or Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Konstantin Borisov. For two of these crew members, it was their first trip to space. That'd be Jasmine Mogbelli and Konstantin Borisov. Andreas Mogensen, who has been serving as the commander of the International Space Station, now has 209 days in space. And Satoshi Furukawa has logged 366 days in space across his two trips. The departure of Crew 7 this morning comes just about a week after the arrival of Crew 8 to the International Space Station, bringing four new crew members. So over the last week, we've had a total of 11 astronauts and cosmonauts aboard the International Space Station. The departure today will bring it back down to the seven crew members we typically keep aboard. Matt on to Huntsville with you on two. Uh, touch temperature allergy is green. We got the green. And with that little bit of communication, we just heard that the hatch inside Dragon Endurance is now closed. All four returning crew members, uh, you're getting your first view inside the spacecraft this morning. They are now inside. Looks like Andy Mogensen there. He has been serving as the commander of the International Space Station. And yesterday, the uh, that was handed over to Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko.
Now that the crew is inside Dragon Endurance, they will take some next steps. As you can see, Andy Mogensen is already suited up. The other crew members have a chance to do so once they get inside the spacecraft. And they'll remain in their suits uh, through the undocking. Again, that undocking scheduled for 10.20 a.m. Central, 11.20 a.m. Eastern. They'll then be able to doff their suits uh, anticipating a splashdown tomorrow morning, so they'll have an amount of time that they are uh, off duty, essentially, in Dragon. Once that undock command is sent, it takes a few minutes for the hooks to open and fully detach Dragon from the space station. There will be a few short thrusters, uh, a few firing short firings of a few of the thrusters um, before Dragon starts to slowly back away. Those are the undock burns, and then eventually we'll get into the depart burns, continuing to move Dragon further away from the International Space Station. Even though it will be attached to the, uh, or it will be detached from the space station at that time, uh, we will still be in integrated operations as the crew and the, car the spacecraft will still be in the approach ellipsoid and keep out sphere. These are what we use in Mission Control Houston to monitor the arrival and departure of visiting spacecraft. Once the crew and Dragon Endurance exit the approach ellipsoid, we will uh, be out of those, we will be out of that uh, joint management between NASA and SpaceX, and SpaceX will continue to uh, control the rest of the flight, Dragon flying autonomously the entire way home. Meanwhile, Mission Control Houston will continue monitoring the return of the astronauts and cosmonaut. And while we won't be on air after exiting the approach ellipsoid, we will continue to provide updates live on our mission audio coverage on nasa.gov. Again, this view inside Dragon Endurance, which has been in space by the time it splashes down tomorrow for 199 days. And Dragon, this is Houston on the big loop. Uh, stand by as we reconfigure the big loop. We'll be down about five minutes. Dragon copies. Again, the hatch has closed in Dragon Endurance separating the crew of Crew 7, who are preparing to return home after 197 days aboard the International Space Station, again targeting undocking for 10.20 a.m. Central Time. Currently aboard the International Space Station, we have Commander Oleg Kononenko of Roscosmos, along with Nikolai Chub, NASA astronaut Laurel O'Hara, Roscosmos cosmonaut Konstantin Borisov, NASA astronaut Matt Dominic. NASA astronaut Mike Fink, NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Grabyankin. The Crew-8 crew that arrived just last week will remain aboard the International Space Station for about six months, just like this uh, departing Crew-7 crew has done, continuing to work on the research uh, going on aboard the International Space Station. And some of that is packed here, as you can see, in Dragon. Uh, this morning, the crew members worked to load some of those cargo bags as well as cold payloads, uh, bringing back that critical research and not just the crew members themselves. After splashdown tomorrow morning, the crew will be extracted first and shortly after this time, critical science will be delivered to the researchers on the ground. The International Space Station is currently flying 256 miles over Sri Lanka. As you can see, it's beginning to enter an orbital nighttime, circling the Earth and seeing a sunrise or a sunset every 45 minutes.
One more look inside Dragon Endurance as we prepare to wrap up our hatch closure coverage this morning. Again, the hatch between Dragon and the International Space Station now closed. All four returning crew members of Crew 7 inside. Closest to the camera, you see NASA astronaut Jasmine McBelly's suit. She'll begin to ingress that suit shortly before our... Uh, Undocking, actually, it looks like she might be preparing to do so now. And just behind that, you see uh, ESA, or European Space Agency astronaut, Andreas Mogensen. And once they undock today, the crew will have spent 197 days aboard the International Space Station, and they're preparing for a splashdown tomorrow. Again, we anticipate that undocking to happen around 10.20 a.m. Central, 11.20 a.m. Eastern, with our coverage going live at 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern. We'll be back shortly, but for now, this is Mission Control. This is Mission Control Houston.